from nowhere. I am circumcised. When I was little. My mother. Oh, she's a Muslim. Oh, there are a lot of Christians who are circumcised. Jews and Christians. No, a lot of Christians are circumcised. In America too. In America. You don't know. Just go and research before you come and talk. So my friend, circumcision is a covenant from God with Abraham and his and his descendants. But that's Abrahamic covenant. In order for somebody to say I am the uh, the prophet from Abraham line, you have to be from that covenant. Meaning you have to have the Abrahamic circumcision. Right. Muhammad wasn't born in a Christian or a Jewish family because they used to circumcise. He was born in a pagan family. Quraysh was a pagan tribe. Yeah. So as a pagan, there is a tradition in going back to Egypt where they used to circumcise. But it had nothing to do with Abrahamic circumcision. You understand that? I do respect what you say and I listen to you. Yeah. But at the same time, at the same weight, if you like, I would ask for evidence that there will have to be no connection by the Abrahamic, you know, Ibrahim. Because then I'll have to say to you, show me. Yeah, yeah. Can you ask me to show me or yeah. Yeah. So so the Abrahamic covenant is in the Bible. And God says for the uh, like a sign of my covenant, you have to circumcise all of your people and all your generations. That's in the Bible. Okay? So do you you know, so that's the evidence that God is making a covenant and he's giving the sign of that covenant as circumcision. Does it say that in the Old Yes, in the New Old Testament with Abraham. Yeah, when Abraham is talking to God about this. What's he talking about? Specifically about yes. uh, circumcision. Yes, yes, God is saying that this will be the sign of uh, of our covenant will be the circumcision. Okay. Okay. So now there is a covenant and has a has a sacred special meaning. Only people who are in that covenant are entitled to be part of that covenant. Okay. Without the right circumcision in the right context, you cannot be part of this. And my argument is that Muhammad, first of all, by well, that's for you, but not for me. So, no, not for right. You, I know. right. You're so, a I am a proud kafir. I'd rather not worship the crescent moon god that you worship, okay. that Muhammad worship. But, yeah, of course. If if you want to, I'd rather worship one god that has been approved in your that's fine. book. Right. In your book. Yeah. The, old, the, the Old Testament. That's what my friend, do. my friend, where are you from? Are you I, I, huh? Where are you from? You're a nice person. I like I, talking to you. I, I, I'm going to talk I'm nicely to you. Okay. 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 Are you Syrian? No, I'm not. Oh, Iraqi. No, no, okay. But if I say Allah, I say Allah. It's okay. I, I don't want to go into that. It's for you. I know it's for you. I know it's for you. It's for you. It's okay. Because some, of, okay, I respect you. I respect you. Some, some Muslims they say, oh, you have to say that. Some Muslims say that. No, it's okay. But brother, if you say in the name of God and your son and that's fine. I'm not gonna say to you. I'm not gonna worship you. I'm not gonna say. Like you say. Okay. So I no, no, no. Okay. No, I was only saying, how are you, brother? All right, my friend. I was only saying that I don't want to say that because it's not uh, to me. Uh, Muhammad is thing like, uh, close to anything like a prophet or anything like that. That's that's for you. Now, when you, when you know what, this whole conversation can be very productive if there is we establish. To find out for you, please. Because obviously, I don't have a solid. No problem. Evidence, it's as okay. You say, as as you ask a valid thank you. question. I appreciate you saying that. Absolutely. And what I want to say to you, the most important thing, even more important than the covenant and the circumcision, is whether, because the Quran is saying that your Allah is the same as my God of the Bible, Yahweh. Right? That's what you believe? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's impossible. Okay? Because if that's true, then I have no problem with Islam. Okay? My problem is not starting from Muhammad or from Quran or anything like that. That's secondary. My problem is with your Allah. Because your Allah can never, ever, ever be the God of the Bible. Okay? Because the God of the Bible, He calls Israel His children. Yeah. And the children of Israel, the Jews, they call Him the Father. Quran comes along and now we have a Allah that's saying I'm no father to no one. I beget no one. Yeah. All right. Now, of course, everybody knows this, that not the Jews, not the Christians believe that God had sex with any woman to have any sons or son, singular or plural. It's a 
spiritual relationship, right? So now, how can you tell me? Now, there's another issue, and now this is the issue with the Arabic. And now you're going to tell me you don't speak Arabic. I don't. But I can look into, I, I speak a language that has 30% Arabic I words in it. speak Arabic, Turkish, and French. And That's good. Turkish. And Turkish, and English, of course. Yes, English That's very good. My That's Arabic very good. is perfect. That's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. My Arabic is not. But the language I speak has 30% of the words from Arabic. Okay? Uh, no, it's uh, Urdu. So 30% of the vocabulary that I use, I can understand 30% of the words Arabic is, uh, speakers speak. So now, when we look at the Quran and it's saying Allah, and we look at what they're talking about, are they talking about the, because Muhammad's father's name was what? Abdullah. What does that mean? Servant of Allah. Servant of Allah. Now the question arises, if he's servant of Allah, which Allah? Because Allah is also a generic name, right? Okay, is Allah a name or is it a, like a title? Like, is it is it a proper name? Like, like uh, Jesus is a proper name, right? Or like, I don't call you a man; I call you by your name, whatever your name is, right? Allah so Allah has a name, right? Ninety-nine names. Nine names. Okay. No, those are all these attributes. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. But when you pray to Allah, you don't use those attributes. You say Allah, right? Bismillah, Allah, right? Okay, that's what I mean. Is Allah mean God, or does it ha is it mean the name of God? It is the name of God and as well. What 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 attribute is Allah? Maybe from a linguistic point of view, we have to go further into this. My my concern will be is that what you want to ask about, what you're looking to ask, if you say the Quran came and Jesus and prayer be upon him and Moses prayer be upon him there before the Prophet Muhammad, and then we have the Quran, so we don't have the same Allah, as you say, or the same God that was the father exactly. of the Jews. That's right. Yeah, and that is my contention. That. that is my contention yeah. that Allah of the Quran cannot be the God of the Bible. That's okay? what you say. Yeah. Now, that's my contention and I'm yeah. going to prove it and I'm going to try to prove it, let's say it that way. Yeah. Because, uh, so, the, when you say Allah, because Al means the, right? No. What does Al mean? Al, 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 Al means yeah. what? But, it doesn't mean L from Elohim because that's also L. L Elah. Could also Elah. Now Elah is different. Now Elah is very interesting because I have the same word in my language, Elah. Yeah. Elahi. Elahi, the word Elahi yeah. is in my language. Yeah. So I know exactly what Elah, Elahi means. Sorry. But Allah is a, is, is a derivative from either it is because when I ask Muslims this question, they say, well, it means the God. You know, Allah means, Ilah means God, Ilah means God, right? Ilah means, Ilah means God, right? Yes. Then if Ilah is God, then why Allah is God? Allah is a name, a name of God. Name of God, thank yeah. you. That's very good. Okay. Because if Allah is the name of God, then when you say, uh, La ilaha illallah, no. La ilah, meaning there is no Ilah except Allah. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't mean that. In Arabic, La ilaha illallah, it means, there is no worship, there is no, it says, there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Right, Ila, right, right. Ila, Ila, Ma'bud in Arabic. Right, Ila means what? God, right? Ma'bud. Ma'bud, no, Ma Ila means God, right? That, that, what's okay. the name? So one say, La, Ila means no God except no Allah. Ma'bud. Ma'bud. Ma that you because worship. You worship. Yes. So Ilah means to worship. Let me just clear one thing, one point. Mm. When in Arabic we have a word, mm. we then have a lot of meanings. Ah, yeah. I see. Everyone. So, mm. it, no, it's true. Okay. It's true because yeah, yeah. we have, we have... Then we have to look at the concept, right? I mean the yeah, context. The context, the context yes, sorry. That, okay. Of course. So, in that way, it says, La ilaha, mm -hmm. la, there is no one worthy of worship. Yeah. Or ma'bud in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Illa Allah, mm. except Allah. So that is how we use it. That's my point is that Allah, if it's a name, then that name has a meaning, right? Yeah. Like Rahman has a meaning, right? Or Rahim. Rahim has a meaning. Rahman doesn't have a meaning. Rahim has a meaning. Mean to be merciful. Rahman, nobody knows what the meaning is. But that's another point. I don't want to go there. I know you're going to say, con no, con uh, they say compassionate, but that's not true. But anyways, I'm not going there right now. Let's leave that aside. Allah does have a meaning. And you don't know what it means, do you? Well, we do. What does it mean? 
Okay. Is, a, is a name given to the creator okay. that he I'm, chosen for himself. He chosen for himself. Absolutely. That's a big claim. <laughs> All right. Let's go there. I like to go there. Where did he choose this name? When? Where? Is it in the Old Testament? He's called Allah. No. Why would he not call himself Allah? When Moses asked him, listen. When Moses asked him, when I go back there, well, who do I say send me? What should I tell them? What did he tell them to say? I have no idea. I am who I am. His name is Yahweh. Are oh, you talking about the Bible? No, no. I'm asking you if his name is Allah. Because there's a point in the Bible where Moses is saying, who are you? What's your name? Mm. Right? And if he is the one that's in the Quran, mm. his name is Allah. Allah. Yeah. And he could tell Moses, go and tell them, tell them Allah has sent you. He doesn't say that. Well, that's, that's your Bible that is being according to John, according to Mark. Okay, let's, uh, okay that's let's another topic. That's another topic. Well, so, absolutely. But that's I fine. Cannot. Okay, so let's say, Brother, so you're saying, what's your name? I go by Uncle Sam. What's yours? Sam and Hisham. Huh? Hisham. Hisham. Yeah. Okay. Hisham. Hashem and Hisham. Hashem and Hisham. It's a big deal now, you too. Hashem and Hisham. <laughs> what is the difference between Hashem and Hisham? Hashem. It's the same thing. We see Hashem. Hisham. It's just a different pronunciation. Uh, yeah. Ha oh, okay. Ha so I can call you Hashem or Hisham either no, way. No, Hisham is different. What? Hisham. No, no, it's written different, right? Hisham. Okay. But so the meaning Hashem is the same. H A. Yeah, 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 but the meaning like, is the same. Okay. Hisham, no, Hisham means a lion. Huh? A lion. A lion. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know how she yeah, and Sam is a liar. Okay. And Osam is a liar. You see, this is what I meant by saying the in yeah. Arabic there is a meaning for many words. So somebody says but what does Azra mean in Arabic? Azra? Azra. 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 How do you write it? It doesn't mean anything. Oh you don't know Azra. Okay, Azra. anyways, there's, never mind. Hazra maybe. Azra. Oh, what does Hazra mean? Hazra to Filan, your highness. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, let's let's not go sidetrack too much. Because the point that I'm trying to make is Allah is a very ancient name. It comes from Egypt. Okay? If you look at ancient Egyptian, not the Egypts right now, because they speak Arabic, but the ancient Egyptian language had La in it. Okay, La, L-A-H. Okay? La. And that was referring to the moon god of Egypt. Allah is the moon god of Egypt. Because listen to this, Muhammad's tribe, Quraysh, used the chief deity of the Quraysh tribe was what? What was the name of the chief god of the pagans in, 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 the, in the Kaaba? Abdul Muttalib. What? Al Abdul Muttalib. No, 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 the chief god. There were 365 statues in the Kaaba, right? Before Hubal, Islam. Hubal. Hubal. You know the name. Thank you for saying that. Thank you, sir. Now, Hubal is a crescent moon god. Now, that clears everything up. Everything. You actually made my life easier. Because now I don't have to say it. Hubal is the name of the crescent moon god of Quraysh, who were pagans. So, they were following Allah because that was the moon god's name from the Egyptian time. So they have this ancient name they were following and they were calling the Hubal. Hubal is also the crescent moon god. You can look it up. I've, I've actually, I've, I've made a lot of videos on this. So everybody knows that I, I've shown all the evidence. So the Hubal worship is crescent moon god worship. Okay? Now, the problem is your Allah is called Allah, which is the Allah, the moon. I don't accept that. Why? Okay, so it's clear it's it's effy because obviously when we talk when we talk about evidence, we look for clear. We look for absolute clear. Evidence. This is absolute clear. It isn't. Why not? Okay, let me la, ask you why not. I tell you because la mm -hmm. is not a la. No, I'm not saying it's a la. Hisham is not hashim. Okay, hold on, hold on. What is okay? La is not what? La is what? Not ila. I'm not saying it's Ila. I know, but they, they, if I'm not saying it's Ila. We are, it's analogy. This is analogy. Uh, Hisham, 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 yeah. Hisham. I think we are playing some. Well, let me straighten it out a little bit, okay? Here's what I'm saying. I'm not saying Ila and La have anything to do with one another. If anything, in the name of Allah, the L is a derivative of like the he, uh, Hebrew. Elohim. You know Elohim? Have you heard of Elohim? This, no, Elohim is a derivative from uh, Allah. 
Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Sam, Sam, the Bible in Arabic mm. is with us as well. We have it because you have the Arabic Bible. I do have the Arabic Bible at home. No, no, no. But when was the Arabic Bible written down? It was written wherever. I mean, when that it, it was translated. I mean, obviously, we talk about the scripture. This is a different. Uh, this is a different uh, subject matter to, to, to go into. When that Bible came along, and it was. But if there was any scriptures, and if there was any translation, and we know that, you know, it has never been written in English, you know, the Bible, the Bible is different language, yeah, yeah. Judaism, so if it was translated into Arabic, yeah. it has Allah all over it. Okay, okay, okay. No, so I know that, it does, it does, I know okay. that. Okay, okay. It's called, okay, let's talk about that. Now we are going into that translation thing. It's called dynamic equivalence. Can you remember this term? I'm starving. I want to eat. Mr. Okay, you want to go? Come back. I want to eat. Okay, I can okay. Come back. No problem. I'll carry on. It's okay. Yeah, we can come back and then Where we'll can find I you. Eat? I was There's a canteen over there. There's sandwiches right there. You what see is that the building? Oh, no, no, it's right there. You can see it. You see that on the right? There's a rooftop on okay, the right. Just okay, go there. Okay. You'll see it. Fab. I'll All see right. You later. I'll see you I'll next time. You. Thank you. All right. Excuse me guys, I'm on the camera. Alright, so the guy he just took off, he said he has to go eat something, so we're gonna have to let it go. Maybe he'll come back and we'll continue with the video. Alright, Jesus is Lord, Islam is false, I'm out. Can you put these microphones over here? You should put the name of your channel on your This is not my one. Okay, who's this? Mike and Chris. <laughs> Good idea to put your name yeah, yeah, yeah. on this one. This one. Yeah, this one is Is that yours? No, this one. Good. Alright. 